just imagine you are designing a temperature control system for a greenhouse you can use if else logic to switch between heating and cooling modes based on the current temperature isn't it wonderful or when modeling a battery charging system you can use if else logic to control the charging process if the battery voltage is below the set value the charger initiates the charging otherwise it stops the charging process or when simulating a home automation system if else logic can be used to control various devices based on the user input or sensor reading for instance if a motion sensor detects a movement the system turns on the lights so these are few examples where you can use if else logic in simulink but the most important thing is how to implement if else logic in simulink so that is what we are going to do in this video so without wasting time let's get started let's imagine we are building a smart temperature control system where we are going to implement and learn how to use if else logic in simulink for that purpose here i have imported data like wind speed temperature humidity and solar irradiance and all this data i am importing from a weather station and we are going to use this data to make decisions using if else logic but before moving ahead it's important you know how to import data to simulink if you know how to import data that's fine move ahead but if you don't know how to import data to simulink then i refer you to watch one video on how to import data to simulink which is really very useful tutorial the link of that video is in description and above here in i button so refer this video to learn how to import data to simulink and now let's build a logic circuit so first let me show you what are the data that i am importing this is the scope and i am connecting this data with scope so let's just run this thing to observe what are the data that we are extracting from weather station so these are the data which we have imported from weather station now using this data we are going to create a logic now what is the condition that we are going to implement the condition is if temperature is greater than 28 degree centigrade we supposed to turn on the cooling system let's say we supposed to turn on a fan right so this is the graph of temperature so when this temperature is greater than 28 degree we supposed to turn on the fan and when it is again below 28 degree we supposed to turn off the fan so this is what we want to implement in this circuit so let's close it let's open library in library we'll go to signal routing in signal routing we are going to use the switch let's add the switch <clears throat> now just open the switch now in the switch this is the criteria for passing the first input so this u2 is our input and here we can set a varieties of criteria if u2 is greater than or equal to threshold if u2 is greater than threshold or if u2 is almost equal to 0 so let's say our requirement is if temperature is greater than 28 degree so we'll use this u2 greater than threshold and we'll set our threshold to 28 degree right okay so now we have set the threshold limit to 28 degree so now u2 is our temperature so let's connect this to our temperature so this temperature reading is given to this switch and now we can set two conditions so in order to set the conditions if input is greater than 28 degree the upper input is reflected in output or if the input is less than 28 degree the lower input is reflected in output so in order to turn on something let's say we'll give a constant so we'll use a constant block and we'll give the magnitude as 1 we'll take another constant block give it over here and we'll make it 0 so the logic is set in this manner if temperature if this temperature which is given to this switch if this temperature is greater than the threshold that we have set which is 28 so if temperature is greater than 28 this one will be reflected in output or if it is not greater than 28 this zero will be reflected in output so let's use a scope to observe the output 
and let's connect this temperature with the scope so that we can compare the variation in temperature with the output now let's run and here you can see when the temperature is increasing this 28 degree mark the output is shifted from 0 to 1 and again when it is reducing its magnitude from 28 degree the output is again 0 so that's how this logic functions now I'll give you a little bit more complex logic to implement but before that I would like to ask you are you enjoying this simulation journey so far? Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful. And if you want to stay updated with more exciting simulating tutorials, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And now we have the more complex new condition. And the new condition is, what if we need to turn on the fan when temperature is higher than 28 degree and solar irradiance is greater than 30 watt per meter square. So this is our new condition. So here we have two conditions. Temperature is higher than 28 degree and solar irradiance is greater than 30 watt per meter square. So now let's open this scope. And here the solar irradiance is this green one. Right. So first we'll connect the solar irradiance in this scope. Now I'll take one more switch. Now I'll open this switch. And in this switch, I will set the threshold of 30 watt per meter square. So this is my first logic. If the solar irradiance is greater than 30 and wind speed is greater than 28, then and only then the output will be 1. Right. So I will give the input from solar irradiance. So this is my input. Now first. I'll take a constant block with zero magnitude and connect over here and then I'll connect a constant block with one magnitude and connect over here. Now what I'll do, I'll connect the output of this block to this upper section. So let's remove this line and connect it over here. Now what will happen in this logic, let me explain quickly. So let's say when temperature is greater than 28 degree but solar irradiance is less than 30 degree. So what will happen? This zero is reflected in output and the same zero is reflected over here. So the input to this logic is zero and when the temperature is greater than 28 degree the upper logic is connected in output and the upper logic is still zero. So our main output will still remain zero. So cooling system will not be turned on. Now let's say it is less than 28 but solar irradiance is greater than 30. So when solar irradiance is greater than 30, one output will be reflected over here but temperature is less than 28. So what it does, it will take lower output and reflect this zero input in output. So in both the case, our condition is get fulfilled. Only and only when the solar irradiance is greater than 30 and wind speed is greater than 28 in only that condition the output would be 1 let's run and observe so here you can see solar irradiance is greater than 30 in between these two points and temperature is greater than 28 degree in between these two points so what is the common time when both the logics are true the common time is this much only and you can see the output is one for only that much of period of time. So that's how you can implement if else logic in Simulink. If you want to expand your Simulink expertise further, go to Simulink tutorial playlist. And if you are eager to master MATLAB programming, check out MATLAB tutorials playlist with more than 66 plus videos. So see you in next tutorial.